Hello, uh, good afternoon. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. This is my blog. Uh, I want to show you uh, how to use jQuery in ASP dot net C sharp. So, add a controller that is home controller, and also uh, after adding the home controller that is the <coughs> default controller, you can add a view. Okay. Uh, so first of all, bind it. Um, sorry, build it and add a view in a view sections you can add a script uh, just like in the web forms okay uh, that is here i want to add in the script edit here in the index.cshtml so first of all add a button control id of the button control oops ID of the button control is uh, this btn and the text of the button control is trash for toggle actually I want to uh, actually I want to display a um, divisions with the hello world uh, when we press the toggle button and also hide when we again that um, button that means of the toggle okay <coughs> So first of all, add a uh, JS library that is script file or JS file, and in the division tag, add a style attribute with the display none, and in it we have a hello world. Okay, when we press the but that button, then division uh, will toggle. <coughs> Sorry, uh, document dot ready is a function through which we can. Um, load the first time the page is loaded okay that's fine now hash uh, for the button that's the id of the button that is btn dot click and again generate the function in which we can take the divisions and the word divisions is the id of the divisions is none so provided id equals to div1 now access that div1 by using their id property hash div1 dot toggle okay so <coughs> thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net mvc i will provide you asp.net web forms windows form windows phone wpf etc uh, and make sure your video will benefits for you okay so uh, let's watch this uh, output of this query and enjoy it so thank you thank you very much